and Tiffany D. Jackson, author of Trick or Treating in the City. Fun fact about me is that I both love Halloween and Halloween movies. So I'm going to be tear raking some classic family Halloween movies for you today. First up, we got Ghostbusters. So let's see. I'm going to go with this. I mean, because you can't really go wrong with like Ghostbusters, especially since it takes place in the city. Next up, Halloween Town. Oh my God, this is so adorable. I used to watch this with my brother. This was definitely top up there. Next up is Gremlins. In the horror movie community, we definitely have our opinions about either the Gremlins as a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. I actually watch it both times of the year. So to me, it's still up there. Next up, we have The Addams Family. This was such like an epic one with Christina Ricci being uh, Wednesday Addams. I still, I don't know if you guys are watching Wednesday, but like, it's so adorable. I kind of want to go and put you here. Next up is Double Double Toil and Trouble. I don't know, guys. I was like, where'd you even get this from? I only even like just, yeah, no. We're gonna put this down here. Next up, we have uh, Twitches, which Tia and Tamara. Um, I really loved her hair in this one, but I don't know. It's sort of like, there's some Disney Halloween movies I love, and this is not one of them, but I'm going to put it in the B category because I love Tia and Tamara. Next up is Scooby-Doo. I don't understand why this is a Halloween movie. We're gonna put this down here because it really shouldn't be on the board. Scooby-Doo is for all year round, so yes. Next up is The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Okay, so this is like the super classic, like everyone would gather around. It's basically, it's a wonderful life, but for Halloween. So it goes up here. <laughs> the next up is Ernest Scared Stupid. You have to be an Ernest fan, and I was never an Ernest fan. Like, I didn't get it. I was one of those people who was like, is, is he funny or is he... Is he stupid? I don't know. So we're gonna put him down here. Sorry, Ernest. Haunted Mansion. This one actually was really great. The graphics in this was great. Um, all the actors were amazing. I love this one. We're gonna put that up here. Next one, another Haunted Mansion. So between the two, that's definitely still high ranking. This one, I mean, if you've ever been to Disney World, Disneyland, and you've been on the Haunted Mansion ride, you know that this one is actually the more epic one. So we're going to put this uh, down here. It's okay, Eddie Murphy, it's all right. Next one is uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes. So I don't really remember this too much. Um, it was one of those movies where like they kind of forced you to watch it, like just because it's a Halloween movie. But what I do remember of it, I was kind of not blown away by it. So we're going to put it next to the Olsen twins. Sorry, Olsen twins. Next up is Hocus Pocus. Okay, so this actually really is our like wonderful life for Halloween. This is the most epic one. Um, so we're going to put this up here. This honestly belongs at the top of the tree, but I I'm trying to follow the rules. Next up is Casper. When I tell you I love this movie, of course there's like a cute little like kissing scene in it that like every single girl wanted to happen. I love this movie so much. Oh my God, I'm probably gonna go home and watch this now because it's adorable. <laughs> Filed up is Beetlejuice. Now Beetlejuice is one of those like, it was so epic for its time and I really love it. Is it like the best, best ever? No, because you can honestly watch this anytime. So is this really like a Halloween movie? And it's perfect actually for the entire family. I don't think it's too gruesome, but I think it also has like its moments where it's like really creepy. And there's a really fun like dance number in it that even to this day, I still kind of do. And last up, we have Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, I actually saw this in the theater. I was so excited because I thought it was just gonna be like all like, I don't know, all spooky and not about Christmas. Um, but it actually did a little bit of both. Like it was actually very like heartwarming. So I'm going to give it like the top tier one because it just like defied all expectations for everyone. And it's one of Disney's best um, animated movies of all time. Man, I definitely have some faves. This board is looking, it's looking rather balanced, not too bad, but you know, pretty decent. <laughs> if you'd like to check out my own Halloween story, be sure to pick up a copy of Trick or Treating the City wherever books are sold. Have a happy Halloween.